Right, guys. So, the link in the description is for this website. It's going to show you where the ROM is, the bootloader, and the modem, everything like that. So, I'm going to start off. I'm going to scroll down. Here's some screenshots of the ROM and stuff like that. Um, right, I want to go down, down. Right. So, if you want the ROM, you're better off going for the Mega Link. It's much faster than the Google Drive. You want to click on the link and hit on download through browser. So you hit that, it'll download. Same goes for bootloader. Download through browser and the modem. Right, I've already got them downloaded so I'm going to show you them now on my desktop. Right, here are the files. This file, oh, this one here you won't get with mine. Um, but I'm going to leave a mega link that I've uploaded on in the description so it should be there if you need it, it's the wooden file so <coughs> I'm going to get this file, this file, this file leave that one the way it is the ROM go on Odin extract it there right now double click go on Odin let's minimise that Right, so now that I'm on Odin, um, you want to put your phone in a download mode. Um, basically what you do is you turn it off, you hold the volume down button, the home button and the power button all at the same time. Um, and then it'll come on, it should come up with a little Android thing. Obviously this is assuming that your device is pre-rooted and that you have Team Win Recovery already installed. If you don't, go to another video of somebody else, they'll show you how to do this. Um, because I want in this video right once that pops up you then press the volume up button and it should load so what you want to do now is once that's like that you plug your phone in and it should if your computer has the drivers installed if it doesn't or if it starts loading anything like that. This is Galaxy Note 5, remember this is the Note 4 I will show you but I've already got the ROM on um, it should pop up on here, one second I'll just put my phone into um, download mode power off right apologies about the delay here guys so volume down, home, power button, press. Then it says warning custom OS can cause critical problems, blah blah blah. Press volume up to continue. Right now it's on volume up, it should come with a little Android saying download and do not turn off target. Put the lead in. <coughs> Get an install and device. Right, that and just close that off now. Basically it says here added. COM5, that's great, right? That means it's working. Now what's happened is you've got a few files here. You've got CP and BL. Now it's really simple. You've got BL here, so you click on BL, go onto your desktop, scroll down, and look for BL. You've got BL, CP, so BL, BL. Just wait a few seconds. CP, scroll down. CP. Easy as that. Then, as soon as that's ready, it says fine, blah blah blah, you hit start. I'm not going to hit start on mine purely because I've already got this installed and I'm just going to do the wrong part. So, once you do that, it should come up saying everything's fine, it should come up pass, and your phone should automatically restart. At that point, you want to then take the battery out of your phone, put it back in and then go on to your recovery. I will show that in the next part of the video because instead of pressing the volume down home and power button you'll be pressing the volume up home and power button um, but I will show that in the next video. Um, I will automatically apologize about the quality now um, so yeah because the quality of the the tablet I've already actually done that part and um, the quality isn't that good um, there's nothing I can do about that guys I just wanted to show the phone show the uh, this quick setup so you know I'm actually being legit here and I haven't got Note 5 um, 
Yep, right, so you've got the ROM here. This is the one that you haven't done yet. I'm assuming you've got a micro SD card because you do need one as far as I'm aware. So what you want to do is you just basically you want to drop that into your phone um, just before you do anything else. So I've disconnected mine at the moment, obviously. Um, but you want this ROM on your micro SD card. I'm going to have mine in my ROMs folder, which you'll see in the next part of the description. So I'm going to end this part of the video now and it should continue on, guys. So, see you in just a moment. Right, guys, let me quickly apologise about the quality of this. Like I say, my phone is the only real recording device I actually use at the moment. So, what you want to do is you want to hold the power up, the volume up, sorry, the power button on the side and the home button all at the same time. So, I'm going to do that now. One second. Uh, get something along the lines of that. Three bits. Right. So, you get into the team win part, and now that you've already done the recovery and the bootloader, um, if I correct the CP in the bootloader, what you want to do is you want to now go on to. Uh, if you've already got a ROM installed, you want to go and wipe, advanced wipe, and you want to delete all these. Leave your micro SD card alone, and you want to swipe. There we go. Now we're going to install. Percy, I've got my ROM in one called ROMs Note 4, newest, and it's called Signed Kubi ROM The Last. Click that, swipe to confirm, and we'll just leave this record now at the moment. Again, I apologise about the quality, but this is mostly just to show, like I say, that the phone is indeed a Note 4. Since a lot of people last time were complaining and saying I didn't show the phone and they assumed it might have been a Note 5 because of the model number. So, let's hang on and wait for this to uh, load. It might take a little while, not too long, hopefully. And provided that you've already installed the bootloader and I believe it's the recovery let me just quickly check I'll put that down there while I quickly check what it is oh in the modem the bootloader in the modem as long as they're installed correctly everything should work fine your messages and all that should work correctly right now it's done all you want to do is hit reboot system Right, what I'll do is I'll go through all the basics quickly as soon as I go onto it. Um, I'll then stop the video. Um, I'm going to restore my ROM. I will also make sure I've got a screen recorder on there. So you can actually sit in HD instead of this crappy camera that I'm having to use just to show you which, what the phone is and what to do on it quickly. So again, my apologies about the quality. That's the best it would do. Try and keep the light over there. And this is the part that takes ages. Um, what I've also tended to do sometimes is I've waited, say, roughly five minutes. The phone generally gets really warm on the back. It starts draining the battery quite badly. Um, so what, what you may want to end up doing is, after waiting maybe five minutes, you may want to just, you know, pop off the back, take the battery out, put the battery back in, turn it on again. And sometimes that actually gets it a little quicker. I'm not quite sure why, but um, yeah, it, it seems to work anyway. But so far, I'll just uh, keep waiting. Right. Right, well, I'm just going to quickly stop this video and I'll start it again. I'll also let you know if I've had to take the back off or whatnot. Um, just otherwise, this video might end up being like just 10 minutes of just watching this in awful quality. So. Two seconds and I shall be back. Right guys, it's finally loaded. So uh, basically I'm on pay as you go monthly or two, so I'm just gonna click OK. Uh, I'm not I'm gonna disable my data connection just for now because I don't want to download anything, but normally you just leave that on. Um right I'm in the United Kingdom, so I'm just gonna go next. Wi Fi. I'm just gonna go next because I don't want to do my Wi Fi yet. I'm just gonna accept all the license terms and agreements. 
photo. Boom. Skip all that, skip anywhere. Later. And finish. There's the one. Right, the first thing you might notice about this one is it doesn't have the um oh that's a little up there. Um it, it doesn't have the little app drawer. Um you can get that straight back, all you've got to do is you just gotta press and hold, go to home screen settings, change home screen into um a show separate apps on screens, hit apply on the bottom, hit OK again, and then there you go, you get your little apps. Uh, right, so what I'm going to do now, guys, is um, I'm just going to restore my ROM, which is the exact same ROM, just I've got all my apps on, because I've got Galaxy Gear Fit and I don't have to set all this stuff up again. Um, and then I'll give you a quick walk around the ROM and stuff like that, so um, the quality should be a lot better on when I'm recording. Right, guys. <laughs> this should be hopefully working here. Let me just make sure that's connected there. Right, so this is my version of the ROM. Obviously, it's the exact same ROM I've done. I've just added a lot more of my stuff on. I've had like theme packs and stuff like that. Um, oh. <clears throat> so let's go down about device. Kubi ROM, port 05 for the 04. Um, so it is model number SM A710F. Obviously, that is not the device I have of the 910F, but because the ROM is literally a port, it believes it's an 05. Um, what version is this on? Let me have a quick look here. I believe it may just be a Lollipop version, software info. Yep, it's Android 5.1.1. Um, they do have a Marshmallow ROM as well. Um, I'll also link that there. That'll basically be the exact same guide that I've just done. You'd do that, but you'd flash that one at the end of it instead. Obviously, different bootloader, different modem. Um, so yeah, I don't think there's really much to show you to be honest, because you probably know all the rest. Um, you've got your themes, theme store works. So I'll just quickly show you this, for example. Um, free trial apply. Just give you a quick idea of um how it works and everything. So we've got on here, there we go. I do quite like this theme. Um, how long I'm going to cancel at the moment. Stop trial. Um, yeah guys, again I'll show you just while it's in, um, obviously I have a lot better quality here with the screen. If we go to home screen settings, it, it, when you first install the ROM, it'll say show all apps on screen like this. This is what it'll look like. It's it's not very nice. It, I don't like it. It's more of an iOS thing. It's not my kind of thing. You lose your app drawer. Not my kind of thing. So you just go on there when you first install it. Home screen content, show separate app screen. Click OK. And you just wait a few seconds. There we go. Boom. That, that that's much nicer for me i don't like the ios 4 thing because you can't really style it anything like that i just like having the main apps i have on my little bit of a mess at the moment because um i haven't long installed the one i've had it about a day um so i've just been trying to make sure my whatsapp and everything like that was was up and running so um yeah there is that anyway guys um that's pretty much it uh if you have any questions Please leave a comment. Um, hopefully, I can get back to you. Uh, if not, John will maybe. Um, so yeah, um, again, my apologies about the long, long delay. But um, a lot of the time, you know, I've been at work and stuff like that. I haven't been able to do any videos. <clears throat> to be honest, I couldn't actually record the phone, which was the biggest thing. So a lot of people were complaining, saying that they needed proof that this was the Note Phone or Note Five. Um, so I got a tablet about two months ago. Um, well, actually more like a month and a half um, so I just decided to use the camera on that for now so yeah hopefully guys you uh, enjoyed this let me just see if I can stop this video now
all right thank you uh, if you could like subscribe any comments questions anything like that just leave them down below um, all links will be in the description so 